Uh, you're here at the BioBase Europe Pilot Plant. The BioBase Europe Pilot Plant is an open innovation uh, pilot plant for BioBase products and processes. This means that companies or research institutes, when they have developed a new BioBase process, that they can bring it here to the pilot facility and we will take that lab scale developed process up to a commercial scale. Eh? Um, in essence, we cover three main activities. Uh, optimization and development of bio-based processes, scale-up and custom manufacture, manufacturing or pilot production. All projects that we do are bio-based. Uh, this is the mission of uh, the organization. Uh, we in fact work in two kinds of projects, uh, consortia-based uh, projects in collaboration with universities uh, and companies and we have also direct collaborations with industry in which we uh, get a question from them to scale up their technology and we just bilaterally uh, collaborate on that subject. Uh, um, with respect to consortia based projects we have currently 13 projects running and with respect to uh, bilateral projects in the time frame of 2013-2014, we have performed 84 different collaborations with industry. As it means that the kind of work that we do is very versatile, as long as it is bio-based. An example of uh, such a process is, for example, uh, the conversion of paper waste into bioethanol. This is a process that you will also see here at the Bio-Based Europe pilot plant. We will convert the paper waste. Uh, we will clean the paper waste first by removing ashes and by removing heavy metals and so on. And then later on we will use the lignin cellulose that is present in the paper pulp to convert it first in sugars and then by fermentation convert those sugars into ethanol. Uh, the most important opportunity for a bio-based economy is that it can replace a fossil-based economy. A fossil-based economy uh, generates CO2, black CO2, that eventually ends up in the atmosphere and causes climate change. In a bio-based economy, there is no net production of CO2 because CO2 is captured via sunlight into biomass. Um, an opportunity for biorefineries is that it can convert side streams from agriculture into valuable compounds. And these uh, side streams are currently not used or solely burned. So it could be an alternative to that, bringing much more value uh, to these side streams. A second opportunity is that it can bring together agriculture on the one hand and industry on the other hand. Eh? Two sectors that have not been really um, collaborating with each other in the past, generating more jobs, more wealth in Europe. Compared to the United States of America and China, Europe has very little invested into demonstration projects so far. Typically, Europe invests quite a lot in fundamental research and allocates very little uh, money towards pilot and demonstration activities. And the result is that many projects uh, that have been, um, or many technologies that have been invented here in Europe are eventually commercialized in other continents. And this is of course a pity because um, we invest quite a lot of money into these research activities and then to see that they are eventually commercialized elsewhere, uh, this is certainly not the way to go. I would advise the students to look at the composition of the biomass that is available in their city. Eh? Uh, because starting from the composition you can learn what opportunities are there what side streams are there, uh, what co compounds are present and for, first of all, of course, give priority to high value compounds. Uh, here at the BioBase Europe Pilot Plant in Ghent we have uh, a variety of pretreatment equipment available. We have uh, physical chemical uh, equipment, uh, we have um, mechanical pretreatment equipment and we have thermal pretreatment equipment and in addition we also have a lot of auxiliary equipment for up and downstream processing. Uh, here at the BioBase Europe pilot plant we have experience with a lot of different kinds of biomass. Uh, we have pretreated so far uh, different kinds of agricultural side streams and energy crops, uh, miscanthus, bagasse, uh, wheat straw, corn stover, barley husk, etc. etc.
there are in general two approaches to valorize biomass. And the first approach is a thermochemical approach, where you will use uh, heat and uh, catalysts to convert biomass into carbon monoxide and hydrogen, for example. This carbon monoxide and hydrogen can then subsequently be used to produce chemicals. Right? So you first break down the biomass to then uh, build up something. The alternative approach is the biochemical approach, where you will first extract uh, carbohydrates and use those carbohydrates to produce chemicals. Which approach is the best one is difficult to say because it will depend on the business case. Eh? But my personal impression is that if you have a high value biomass, then I would use the biochemical approach. Because if you have a high value biomass, typically you know the composition very well. An example is corn stover. Corn stover has a very large uh, lignocellulosic fraction where you can easily uh, convert it into carbohydrates and those carbohydrates can be sub subsequently be used. Municipal solid waste is another example. It's a low value biomass, the composition is not that well known and it's very difficult to extract carbohydrates from it. So in that example, it, to my opinion, it would be better to first convert it into carbon monoxide and hydrogen and use those uh, molecules to build up other chemicals.